jobs needed to you need to do something funky with it like you know it depends on what decoration goes where it's different to each to each council that we do yeah each location that's a story for another time I'd like to know the difference between like Council, like, I wonder if council is the same thing as borough. Um, well, the borough is well, like we've something got... else. Oh yeah, I can. I've got, I've got you up on the stream. I'll turn the volume down so I can sort of see what's going on, but not have echoes going on. Right. Um, council, council is another way of saying we've got suburbs. Okay. And then a selection of suburbs will be under the one council, and like hmm. they're all sort of, like they sort sort of form another separate um, another separate area, hmm. like that encapsulates every single suburb that's in it. Huh. But then it gets even weirder when you start talking electorates, when you start talking political divisions. Yeah. Because they don't follow the same one. <laughs> no, they don't. We have that here. Like, hello, Bryce Graham on on YouTube. Hello, Bryce Graham. Yeah, we yeah, we're still just getting started. I need to get the chat in here. No, oh, yeah. And today's theme is me eating on mic because it's <laughs> late. And our guest is Matto, yes. our fixer from for Melbourne. When we're going to be this there, guy, this yeah. Uh, uh, November. Brian's eating real food. I'm eating a drill. <laughs> Here's the drill. <laughs> is that is that a Will Fucky? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> what you get? Will Fucky, Cry Orby, uh, uh, I, I forget what DeWalt is. And maybe you yeah. that we don't. Yeah, this is this is Milfucky. Nice. Uh, yeah, my my it's not exclusively red. Like yeah. some of it is lime green. Yeah. But other bits of it uh do you have King Chrome over there or is that just us? I don't know. I think as far I'm as sure, like, yeah. go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say I know you've got plenty of snap off. Oh, yeah, snap off. We got fap off. That's a good one. <laughs> yep. Yep. We got Matgo. That's another truck that comes around to your job site. Oh, yeah. As you do. What do I need? I need window capture. Okay. And just. Uh. Oh, that's right, because I didn't pick anything. I just need another Firefox window. Open, open, open new window, and then and then half the time I don't know what to do, so I just put Google Maps in. Someone's asking Isaac. It is uh, one. Hang on. What is the watch? One forty-eight in the afternoon over here. Nice. Melbourne time. It is yeah, ten forty eight PM here. So I'm gonna Sweet continue days. doing this until I go to bed. Because I gotta get up and swap giveaway cars. Um Oh yeah, true. I gotta go see Justin. It's one of my favorite things I do during the week of taking a two hour drive out to North Jersey. North New Yay. Jersey. And uh two hours. Yeah. Most of it's uh not back roads, but state highways, if that makes sense. Was that date date highways? Oh, excuse me. Uh, state highways. State highways. Yeah. yeah. So you know, you got the inter uh, interstate up here at the very top. I need to get. I need to still put this window up in here, up in the chat because this is a boring looking chat. 
I want to no, say no. I want to say that our like we have um, we don't call them interstates. We have state routes. We have uh, motorways, and then we've got I don't know what A, B, and C refer to, but those are our sort of outback country highways. Okay. So, I think what I'm referring to <coughs> in the way I go to Jersey is uh, a, an A road. And that it's just two lanes, but the speed limit's still kind of high for what it is. Now, that's two lanes, uh, one going one way, another going the other way? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, that's... Uh... <laughs> Those are, those are our outback highways. Mm, okay. um, a motorway will typically be dual carriageway in both directions, so two lanes either side. Mm -hmm. Most famous of those, probably the M31, the Hume Highway, goes between Melbourne and Sydney. I'm going to go look at that right now. Uh, wrong way. There we go. Between Melbourne and Sydney. Okay, M31, yeah. Yep. Uh, evening, going fast. There we are. Evening, regular in Matto. Want to review an Oldsmobile Aurora? I think I found one. My friend with a Razzy kit on his would be down too. So, okay, the Oldsmobile Aurora is sort of like a... a Ford Mondeo. Did you get those? Uh, I'm going to say no. I'm going to say very few of the American General Motors stuff we okay. ever got here. Uh, a Ford Mondeo. Because remember, we have we have Camrys, Accords. Okay. We did have the Mondeo, the Telstar. You know, we had all that sort of thing, and the only thing that Holden gave us was the Vectra. Okay. So. Which. So I guess the 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 uh, yeah Oldsmobile Aurora. So that's General Motors, but I don't think that was shared with. I I mean, we could cheat and just look at Wikipedia and find out the history of that thing, but. Um, I'm already there. Okay. Um, I guess it's sort of like a Camry. It was trying to be upper class, but its most famous thing is that I think it, it was either the Aurora or the Oldsmobile Intrigue that was featured in the X-Files <coughs> movie in like the year 2000 or something like that. Yeah, right. Um, I mean, it looks, it looks like it would fit the aesthetic of that show. Yeah, but this is coming from someone who's never seen it. It was on our, like, it was on the TV at some point mm -hmm. in my life. I think it was, um, oh, it was either Channel Ten or Channel Seven, mm. which means nothing to you. But does that look we'll get better. kind we'll, of like we'll get to that the, later? How the channels are the BBC, like they have BBC One, Two, Three, Four, like that kind of thing. Once upon a time, we only we only ever had like oh seven channels. Mm -hmm. Like two of them were two of them were government owned. One of them was fully independent and run sort of. And I'm I'm specifically talking Melbourne here. Uh, one of them was sort of run by a very very local underground sort of station. And then we had the three commercials, so uh, Channel 7, Channel 9, Channel 10, and they're all pretty much owned by the <laughs> the big wigs of the mining industry have controlling shares of all of them. Oh, really? Okay. Wait, no. Wait, no. Channel 9 doesn't. That's, um, that's the former head of uh, the age, one of the, one of the major newspapers that we have. Hmm. So it's sort yep. of just like if like a Fox News or something. We are full media monopoly over here. Oh, Fox okay. News. Uh, the only the only thing that is kind of Fox News because it is News Corp mm. is 
everything owned. Yeah, we've got a slew of newspapers mm-hmm. like the Australian, the Herald Sun in Melbourne, mm-hmm. the Daily Ter- Ter- Daily Telegraph. <laughs> One of these days, I'll have a talk about media, like, you know, private chat, obviously. It's nothing yeah. interesting here, but, like, media ownership in Australia is fucking weird. Uh, Grace Jane Gallagher says, Sad Mr. Regular is going to be in Melbourne after the footy season and before the cricket season. I'd love <laughs> if he could see uh, Mike Charlie golf. <laughs> yeah. The M- yeah, the MCG, the Melbourne Cricket Ground. Mm. Yeah, that's our. It's one of our oldest. It's one of our oldest um, cricket pitches. Mm-hmm. Uh, also used for a, ve- a very Melbourne exclusive sport, AFL, Aussie Rules Football. Uh huh. Sorry, Australian Football League. Okay. Yeah, it's. It's a thing. <laughs> All I know about that is that I think the goalposts are on the goal line and a bunch of other stuff. Um, it's an oval stadium. We have uh, four posts on either end and the two middle ones, the tallest ones. If you get it in between those two, it's six points. Oh, okay. And if you get it through the like between one of the tall ones and the, one of the short ones, I believe it's one point. Hmm. Someone who knows more about AFL, please confirm that in the chat because yeah. I'm vaguely familiar with sport, but I'm not a sport person mm-hmm. <laughs> unless you're talking, unless you're talking motorsport. Nice. It, it's weird. Like I know, I think I know more about football than I know about motorsports. Cause even though it's a car channel, I don't watch motorsports. Um, yeah, but fair enough. I, I would just watch, like, WRC videos because it was on late at night the same time I was done jerking off to Scrambled Vision. Yeah, right, copy. <laughs> um, yeah, for us, uh, we would we would watch a whole... We were involved in go-kart racing to the point where we actually came across a few from... A few people from the... The V8 Supercars yeah. series. V8 Supercars series, like, they would get their sons involved, you know, would come down to a couple of club days, um, you know, to come watch it and all that jazz. Sorry, I'm getting text messages in my That's fine. You can take phones. care of that. Because Isaac Flavely, thank you so much for uh, money for the Australian brown card. Doesn't have a question, but thank you so much. Mm. Um, My car's brown on the inside. Nice. Uh, another person says they were hyper. Uh, Astro Go, uh, Gohorn says, I've been so hyper fixated on the Toyota Sarah since I learned about it two years ago, then finally buying one in May. Great. You'll have fun. You'll have a very Hell reliable yeah. car with fun doors. Um, yeah, so Jersey, like, New Jer- the state of New Jersey is, well, like, North Jersey, it's, people in New Jersey are going to hate me for saying this, but it's one big, like, most of it is one, like, the upper part is one big suburb for New York City, and then, yeah, right. And then down below is, at the very bottom, that's your beaches. That's your Jersey Shore. And then mm-hmm. the middle is fuck all. That's, uh, yeah, right. That's like, okay. I mean, there's a lot of farmlands, but that's it. So um, a, a trip between Philadelphia and New York, what does that take you? An hour, maybe. Depending on traffic, you could probably go from Philly to New York in an hour in a car. Um, mm. I I don't want to bring any sort of Australianisms into it just in case I offend people. I will just say that that is like going for people in Melbourne. That's obviously like you know look at the distance between Melbourne and Geelong, and that's about the same distance, like mm. an hour or an hour and a an hour and fifteen or something. Geelong. Trying to find it. G Long. 
So see that little corner of the bay down down there? Oh, I see it. Man, Golf that's a... Echo Echo Lima. Yeah. Uh, that's wow. I guess so. So you got your M1. Is that like a? Oh yeah, it's a decent. That's road. the on that side of on that side of Melbourne. That's the Princess Highway or Princess Freeway. Hmm. Okay. Let me. I mean. I can already see people say it's more like two hours because it's nah, all I ninety. Nah. It's Depends all I ninety five. Yeah, but you bump your way around Trenton. Actually, no, ninety five doesn't. Yeah, you're on ninety five next to the Delaware River, and then you got your choice. You go two ninety five around it. And then pick it back up again, or you go over, cop over the the, the bridge. Just, the the river here just fucks everything up because you got to find a place to cross. And then, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to jump in for a second. The chat reckons that my volume is significantly higher. Okay, I think but, it's because of my headphones being really fucking sensitive. Now let me uh, let me pot you down here. Yeah, yeah. Like right, like that. Testing one two. Testing, Testing one, one two. two three four. Are we are we even? Are we even now? I mean, I can, I, I, yeah, I can't really tell. For, hang on. Me, 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 yeah. me, me. Wait a minute. I mean, I can, I, I, yeah, I can't really tell. For, hang on. Me, 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 me. me. You, you. I mean, I can, yeah, you I can, need, you need to bring me right down. <laughs> okay. Or I need to somehow figure out how to bring the gain on my mic down. Grace says like, too far, eats. so. Or I need to somehow figure out how to bring just go, just give me a steady, ah, uh, uh, again, there you are, I think we're even, nice, you can hold a tune. <laughs> Better, but it was Brian, the one who got quiet. What? Better, but it was Brian, the one who got quiet. What? Yeah, because you're hearing the delay. You can turn off. You can turn off the speaker now, Matto. Yeah, okay. I'm turn, I'm turning the speaker off now, and um, I've found the sensitivity on on Discord. Does mm -hmm. it sound like not like I'm peaking like crazy? Mm -hmm. Mark Johnson says can't have this. Well, everybody else in the chat is on a delay. So, <laughs> so hopefully. Sorry, chat. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. For people who say like an hour between Philly and New York, now you get to define what part of New York. I mean, downtown Manhattan, that throws a wild. Like the idea of driving in Manhattan is just bonkers. Um, because there's, there's trains that run in between, trains and buses that go between Philly and New York all the time. I was supposed to be yeah. in Philly. I was supposed to be in New York on Wednesday, but all my buses home for the New York Auto Show have been sold out. So yeah, for sure. I, I'd have to get a hotel somewhere in Manhattan, and now you know that could be like four hundred bucks or something like that. And uh, speaking of which, uh, people in Cincinnati, I, I do want to come there on the weekend of uh, April 26th. But I don't know what's going on in Cincinnati that weekend because hotels are like $500 a night. And I don't... I heard, oh, for Cincinnati... Big oof. Cincinnati is like, okay, it's... Uh, what, what's Cincinnati going to be like? It's like a Midwest town that maybe kind of sort of could be a thing that was a railroad town. Uh, okay, it's... Uh, I, I saw an infograph that said South Australia is the Midwest of of Australia, so that's like Ohio and everything, everything else. Look, kind of like there's, you know, as as far as I've sort of seen, I've been through South Australia once when bringing a truck back from Darwin, right? Mm -hmm. And 
all through the middle of Australia. It's like there are there are townships where you know you'll you'll start in the the city that's closest to the edge of the water, mm-hmm. and then you'll go into the middle of Australia. And for like the better part of ten hours or so, there will be nothing, mm. like nothing but red dirt. And then you'll come into a township that's just made up because of, you know, you need to stop, right? So that becomes a settlement just by virtue of people who are traveling. Okay, yeah. I'm trying to find a town near the water. You know, that could be a funny thing is just like you point at signs and say, Brian, pronounce this. Yeah. Like, here's a town. I mean, Let's you already had, you already had, um, you already had a trouble with Adelaide. Yeah. I need yep, the D at the end is, of it. Yep. <laughs> Here's a fun one. W-O-L-L-O-N-G-O-N-G. Wollongong. Wollongong. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I don't know where the syllables start and end. Wool, okay, <laughs> wool like a sheep's wool. Wool on gong. There we go. Yep, but you got to say it quick. Wollongong. Wollongong. Yeah, yeah, there we go. All right, so there's a little bit of Jersey going on, because I'm going to show you a fun Jersey, a fun Jersey town. Okay. Uh, well, here, here we go. Uh, right where my pointer is. What? Does it? Oh, you were going to. Ooh. <laughs> you know, Piscataway. You got it. Instantly. Got it? Yeah, Piscataway. Yeah. Nice. Okay. <laughs> um, Go me. Uh, yeah, let's let's get over here with. I, I saw you hovering over Newark before, and that actually caught me up a while ago. Wait, Newark? Yeah. What's going on there? Newark. Newark. Yeah. Um, I'm going to Newark. Oh. <laughs> Yo, oh, Trenton has this great... Where, where's the bridge that everybody makes fun of? Oh, yeah. Um, hang on, oh, which there bridge it is. are you There's the bridge that, that you cannot... It's, it's the, uh, people know what I'm talking about. The, yeah, Trent, the, the Trenton Bridge. Hold on. I, I got to get closer to it. Uh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, all you do is complete it. Hold up. <laughs> the... The word, the word, Trenton makes the world takes. Yeah. What? <laughs> Trenton makes the world takes it in the ass or takes it in off the butt. Wow. Because <laughs> it's like, wow. we manufacture stuff here. It's like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it almost sounds a bit salty. It's like, we made this stuff. Yeah. And the world just takes it from us. Yeah. Because, like, <laughs> Trenton is just known for being just, like, like, okay. Trenton is, like, industrial, kind of dirty and whatever. But the thing is, mm-hmm. you just go right outside Trenton, and then there's Hamilton Township, Robbinsville, and freaking Princeton. Like, Princeton University is, like, somewhere. There it is. Princeton, like, right out here, like, maybe 20 minutes at the most is, like, Ivy League school, and it's super expensive. Also, Princeton sucks. Yeah, right. <laughs> As a town. <laughs> I've been there like three times, and I'm like, I've had better, like, egg sandwiches at, like, diners and stuff. It's all sort of, ooh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> mm. Ivy League, what does that actually mean? Like, we don't, we don't have as big of a, like... We don't we don't have terminology, I don't think, for what the what the upper crust schools are well, down exactly here. What it, we that's sort of exactly just exactly what it means. Yeah. Yeah, okay. It's like you're gonna be a so, politician, your your family's gonna yeah, be money. I mean, that's that's just code for private school. Yeah. <laughs> down here we have you know, we have Scotch College and we have Wesley mm. and you know, I'm not sure how, where this fits in, but Melbourne Grammar. And for the girls, we've got Methodist Ladies College. Mm. 
<laughs> so it's it like or... the more pretentious they sound, the more likely it is going to be that, you know, the people that are coming out are just, you know, they're going to be part of the yacht club and they're yeah. going to swing it with, you know, the high society of Melbourne and all the all the lovely all the lovely visitors that come down from Sydney. <laughs> That's interesting. Does Australia have a posh accent in the same way uh, that the UK does? There is. Um, my sister reckons there's a few, or somebody reckons there's a few more than just one, but there are three. Mm. There are. There is the. There's the ochre. Mm-hmm. G'day, mate. How you going? Want to swing down to the pub for a couple of frothies? <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, you know, the, the, your Crocodile Dundee, your Paul Hogan yeah. sort of accent. There's the regular, you know, Australian accent that Hugh Jackman uses. Mm-hmm. And then there's the cultivated one, the, uh, the, the posh. Like go look, go look at one of our former prime ministers, Malcolm Turnbull, and listen to him speak, and that's the easiest uh, example of a cultivated Australian accent. It's it's halfway between British and Australian. Okay, interesting. It's it's very refined. It's very it, it's very high society. <laughs> now that sounds like the U.S. one, where you go, where everything is just up here. Yeah. So like roll well, the letters off at the very end. And no one really oh, talks d- like that's this anymore. So Sometimes delightful. It's like, uh, yes. Oh, it's so fancy. I have someone to bleach my ass. <laughs> we have a super chat coming in for six dollars and ninety cents. Nice, Gracie Jane Gallagher. Okay, try to make Maddo pronounce the name of this town. Yeah, uh, Conshohocken. Oh, fuck you. You got it immediately. How are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Conshohocken, immediately. Perfect. Yeah, Conshohocken, Conchi is... This is going to uh, be a bit, isn't it? It's going to be a bit. It's going to be totally be a bit. Yeah. So, Conshohocken is a... Uh, uh, a kind of okay suburb of Philadelphia. Because yeah, um, right. uh, all of this stuff, Bridgeport, King of Prussia, uh, Auburn, Oaks. Uh, Oaks is where we're having uh, the RCR. We're confirmed for the RCR car meet. Those people are watching here at the Greater Philadelphia Expo Center. Uh, I think they're sticking us down here either at the fairgrounds or we're probably going to be down here. Um, yeah, right. Um, but anyway, Concha Hawken is just sort of like uh, the comedian Ian Fidance has a good joke that people want to say they're from Philly because like Philly is tough and cool, but really they're, they're oh, from yeah. Bal- Bala Kinwood, Maniunk, Roxburgh, uh, Bren Marr, Concha Hawken, mm-hmm. all this stuff. And then they just take the train and pretend they're from Philly. Um, yeah. Yep. Uh, there's a, there's another one that Astro Gold Horns wants me to try. Um, I'm going to struggle with this one. Uh, Spoiten Doivil. I don't know what that is. Is that Jersey? Uh, I mean, well, the follow up the follow up says yay Welsh names, but uh, I'm not so sure. Sh- <laughs> you know, <laughs> Conf- confirm that one, please. <laughs> yeah. Is there, are you pulling Welsh on me? I didn't go to Wales when we were over there. It's a... It's a what? Spite and Dival. Spite and Dival. It's in New York. Spite and Di- oh, Spite and Dival? New York State or New York City? There's a difference. Mm-hmm. Because, like, New York is just the little dick of New York, New York City, NYC, the five boroughs are down here. Yep. Mm-hmm. And the rest of New York State is just just mountains. I mean, it's very beautiful. Um, Upstate New York, apparently. 
Upstate. Okay, so they, they just mean upstate is pretty much anything that's not New York or really connected to Connecticut or, or near Massachusetts. I guess Albany counts. But all yeah. this stuff here, there's these big lakes up here called the Finger Lakes. Um, it's where a lot of... Uh, there's like two places where you can grow really good wine in the United States. And one's New oh, nice. up here by the Finger Lakes. And then the other one is in, of course, California. Uh, well, that might have to be everywhere. a bucket list. Hmm? That might have to be a bucket list item. To do what? Like wine country. Oh, yeah. Because Australia is real big on their wine. Yeah, we've we got import like a lot of that shitloads place. of vineyards. Yeah, because you get wind, and then it's you can have the what? It's the two things you need for wine. You need predictable rain, but you need a lot of wind. Wind, I guess, and then and then I guess dry climates. I I don't know. My friend Tom knows a lot more. Yeah, it's it's typically you'll find them you'll find most of the vineyards in valleys mm. where, yeah, the wind, the wind is just right. And the, you know, the, the climate sort of like, there, there's a bit of, there's a bit of protection from the surrounding tree, tree coverage and all that. Right. Yeah. I'm not a wine person. I am more of a scotch drinker. So <laughs> My man. there's another, there's another bucket list. Go up to, go up to the Highlands. Go up there to the Highlands and check out what's that going on in here. <laughs> <laughs> Need to listen to my cause to one of my old friends who's got a Scottish dad. <laughs> listen I, to him speak more. <laughs> did you grow uh, grow up here in that? Um, look, I I don't know. We grow up we grew up hearing a lot of different accents on the TV. So mm. you know we're probably. You know, it's, it, to to a degree, we do it. We don't do it in in, in a manner of you know, like we don't do it to be an asshole. We 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 just our culture is all about taking the piss out of ourselves. Okay. So we end up coming up with impersonations of things. Nice. Um, just for fun. It's it's nothing. It's nothing serious. It's just that's just who we are. Well, that's cool. Uh, Mark Johnson says, just found out that Nick Roman writes for Cars and Bids. Uh, do I do as well? I do not. Um, I don't know if I could. I'm trying to limit the amount of time I am sitting down these days because I'm feeling it, you know, lower back stuff. So if I want to pick up extra work, I don't want it to be sit down work. You know, growing up, I would have done anything for a sit-down job, and then when I finally got mm. one, it's like now it's like, ugh, back hurts, my hip flexors are all tight, glutes are tight. So I honestly wouldn't mind like some some manual labor again. <laughs> just uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Get me just pushing a pushing a cart around. I think that'd be nice. I could do that for two hours a day. Um, <laughs> Relocate down to here, and I'll get you a job at Resolution X. What's that? <laughs> That's a lighting company. We have oh, uh, nice. we have road cases upon road cases upon road cases of different light fixtures for rock and roll, mm. like big festival stuff. Gotcha. Yeah, that's set, set that's the yeah. When I say when I say I drive trucks, I don't necessarily consider myself a full fledged trucky i'm more of a roadie mm. that has a semi license nice but um my uh, i cut my teeth doing roadie work you know loading the trucks nice. and it's all you know pa equipment lighting mm -hmm. rigging like you know different truss sections yeah. that you bolt together to form structures that this stuff hangs off mm -hmm. staging That's that awesome. sort of thing i love it mm. Me. So you so you may have mem may have remembered a picture that I sent you on Discord of uh, the back of one of the trucks that I was loading for uh, one of the festivals that we've had recently mm -hmm. called Good Things, where Limp Biscuit headlined. Limp Biscuit. Yeah, 
They're, those those they're guys. Still <laughs> they're still around. They're still around. They're still rocking. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I remember when they were dangerous. And Ooh. they were like, don't <laughs> let your kids listen to this. This is bad music oh. in the 90s. This was the music of the. This is the music of the devil. Your kids will be corrupted if they listen to this music. Take it off the shelves. It's illegal. They're saying bad words. Oh, can't can't have that. Nookie means pussy. <laughs> oh, you can't you, you can't be using that language, kids. Stop stop doing that. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember when? Oh dear. Do you remember when Chumbawamba, they were on some talk show or panel show, and they just flat out said, just go to the record store and steal our steal our records. We're already paid. Um, yeah, like, my only, my only sort of reverence for Chumbawamba comes from, like, the fact that Tub Thumping was a big hit yeah. for, a, for a while back in, you know, when I was in primary school. Mm-hmm. Right, I uh, was primary school from '98 mm-hmm. to 2004, and I think you know. Uh, when when was that making? When was that making the airwaves most? Oh uh, gosh, I remember I was a freshman. Without cheating and looking at Wikipedia, I think that might have been now. Yeah, that would have been either ninety six or ninety seven, tub thumping. Okay, so I reckon I reckon parents would have introduced that one to me. Mm. Um, and it's it's funny. There's a reference to one of my mum's favorite movies of all time, Brast Off. Brast Off. Which is that? Yeah, it's that one about the um, the brass colliery band, all those coal miners in bloody. Uh, I need to go back and watch it. It it features um, Pete Postlethwaite, uh, Ewan McGregor, and another a lot of other familiar faces that I can't remember the names of. And it was yeah this brass band that worked in a coal mine in the UK, mm-hmm. and their pit was getting closed. Okay. It was based around that period where all the coal mine closures were happening and communities were getting absolutely shafted by the closure of these pits yeah and you know widespread fucking poverty ensued gosh a lot of a lot of protests were going on etc and this uh this movie all in the middle of it was trying to get the was trying to get uh an opportunity to play at the royal albert Okay. In London? Oh, okay. Yeah. It's a it's a good movie, but um there's a reference in Tub Thumping um uh to Danny Boy, who's oh. Pete Postlethwaite's character. I thought they were just referencing the the original play, Danny Boy. Oh, they they could be that. Maybe that's know. maybe they're maybe that's two references that are getting mixed up, and oh, okay. I'm getting it wrong. Don't or that, don't take like take what I say with a pinch of salt. Uh, you're probably right because I'm just approaching it from an American standpoint, and all like uh, Commonwealth country references all just kind of get mixed up. Mm. Actually, you know what? There is a version of that of tub thumping that actually includes part of Danny Boy's speech at the end of the movie. So maybe I am right. Oh, cool. That'll that'll take some research. Hmm. Uh, Anywho, Thompson, they're they're still talking about it. All I want to do is just take the bus. I still have never been to the com- comedy cellar in New York City. Uh, oh, yeah. It's in the village. And it's only three hours away, and there's buses all the time. And I've never gone to just see who's playing, because you don't know who's going to show up, like famous comedians and stuff. Yeah. This looks like the kind of place where I would just, I would get off the plane, and I would just go in however I could and just walk around the place for hours. Oh, New York City. Maybe, what, maybe with skateboard in hand. Yeah. 
New York City, that like would be a, it's just the yeah. whole place rules. Mm, love it. Like you, you can uh, you can walk two blocks and spend two hours of of just the stuff you see there, and you don't even have yeah, to, like, nice. Like, don't do any of the tourist stuff. Like, people go down here and go to the Empire State Building or whatever. But mm, it's really mm. like Chinatown, Lower East Side, Midtown, I guess. Because um, it's only, what, A like lot of, yeah. four miles long or something like that? It's like two miles wide, four, well, it's longer than that. Yeah, no, it definitely looks longer than, yeah. yep. Mm. Um, a lot of people like to do the parallels between Melbourne and New York for some reason. And whilst some of it might be true, I'm not going to, you know, I'll, I'll be the judge of that when I get there, but mm -hmm. it is looking very, that's looking very Melbourne CBD, but just heaps bigger. Yeah. And it's the same thing that we sort of say, if you want to do the touristy thing, go to Sydney or Gold Coast. Well, yeah. more so Sydney because, you know, uh, Sydney Harbour Bridge, mm -hmm. friggin' Opera House. Right. You know? Yeah. That's the, you know, th there there are some nice, there are some nice sights in Sydney that you can see from, you know, a good viewpoint if you take a, if you take one of the ferries. Yeah. You know, go, go to the rocks and check out all the, all the harbour action. But, um, but you go to Melbourne, it's like there's, not really like go go check out Federation Square and the and the stupid structure that they built on it. Mm. You know, go you know the the gems of Melbourne are a lot more hidden and you actually have to go on a little walk around to see what's going on. Oh yeah. So it's not quite like like the touristy like the true way to just do New York City is exactly what you described. Just start walking and see what happens. That I mean, would yeah. be my, that would be my that would be my suggestion to anyone who wanted to come to Melbourne specifically. Yeah, do that. Just get off the. You know, unfortunately, we don't have a train. We don't have a train that comes out of the airport. We do have a double deck a double decker bus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's lovely. That takes you straight from the airport, Telemarine Airport, straight into. Southern Cross Station, mm -hmm. and then, you know, just hop on a train to Flinders Street or catch a tram straight through the middle of the city. Nice. Um, yeah. On that note, we may have more time than I thought because American Airlines does fly direct from DFW, Dallas-Fort Worth. Okay. So we don't have to do the overnight in LA in Los Angeles. So uh, Nick and I are going to go from, we're going to do the whole thing in one shot. So we're going to go Philly to Dallas, which is only like mm -hmm. maybe two hours tops, like jetway to jetway. Uh, and then oh, yeah. from Dallas, uh, we'll get on the Dreamliner and uh, take drugs and go to sleep, <laughs> you know, take uh, Gramamine. <laughs> Mm. And then, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to answer a couple of questions after you're finished. Okay. As well. And there is no there is no connection in Sydney. Go straight to Melbourne. Nice. That must be on like a Dreamliner or something. Yeah, seven eight, seven eight seven. Yeah, yeah. Because that's what if if we were like I've been to the UK once and we go Melbourne to Perth, then. Okay. That's like a that's like a four hour journey on the plane. Yeah. They refuel and then they go straight to the UK, straight to Heathrow. So, Perth. Oh, all the way over there. Yeah. Yeah, all the way over west. <laughs> all Man, right. Yeah, so, in order there. of, um, no, we don't have legal Mary Jane, unfortunately, but we have very relaxed laws about possession. So. You know, if you haven't, if you have enough to, like, we have legalized medical marijuana, and we've got plantations that are making it for us, but we're not at the point of recreational use being legalized. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we'll get there eventually. <laughs> Pennsylvania is um, the same. And way. then, yeah, 
it's a it's a slow process because there's still a lot of there's still a lot of uh, 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 misconceptions and like just general. Um, I can't brain right now. What's the word? Um, well, stigma. Enough, enough, enough uh, politicians have to get their uh, kickbacks and their bribes and stuff, and then eventually you'll have legal. Mm. Yeah, that's it. Now, uh, favorite Melbourne neighborhood. I have a few friends who swear it's Carlton. Carlton is nice. Um, for me, it's more Fitzroy, which is not too far away. That's where you know you've got a you've got a lot of nice drinking spots, a lot of live music venues. Um, Oh, I'm trying to think if there's like a few like smaller hipstery art galleries as well. Like, a co- yeah, a common a common meetup spot for like the inner northeast sort of thing. Like super inner inner northeast is definitely Fitzroy. Mm. Um, people, if anyone from Melbourne's in the chat right now, I'm sure they will. Say no, it's not. It's fucking. It's, it's Footscray, <laughs> or something mm-hmm. like that. <laughs> no, you got streetcars. That's cool, or trams, or whatever you call them, light rail. Yep, we call them trams, and I think we're the only of the only one of the major cities that call them trams. Everyone calls, or well, Sydney calls theirs light rail, mm-hmm. and I. F- feel like maybe Gold Coast also... Oh, no, Gold Coast calls it a tram, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but, we, yeah, like, nothing more iconic than a Melbourne tram. Like, if you want to look at a picture of Melbourne, just go look for a W-class tram, and that's, and that's your image right nice. there. Yes, we we did ourselves a favor by laying our roads out in a grid, which makes it really useful to That's lay down a whole bunch of tram tracks. Wide street, that is nice. That well, that is like sort of L.A. style, where the, the, the oh, cities yeah. are new enough to be like, okay, cars are a thing. Mm. It's not like, but we're like very. We're very caught in between that whole cars are a thing, but you know, like we've got a lot of public transport, but not quite enough public transport to uh, convince people that using it is a better idea than getting caught in traffic at nine a.m. in the morning. <laughs> yep, how American! It's, it's, be- it's <laughs> well, better than freaking like, Boston. That's a major street. <laughs> Boston. Boston. A city that's built well, well, well before cars. I mean, it's, yeah. I mean, it's pretty much like Boston is like, it's, everything's squirrely and weird, like London. Uh, also like Sydney. Nice. Like, yeah, Sydney's definitely built, you know, that, that was pretty much the first city, I'm pretty sure. So, of course, it's got windy roads that make no friggin' sense. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Except for someone traveling by horse and carriage. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Everybody's dying of consumption. Yep. <laughs> oh, that looks nice. That's a nice neighborhood I randomly found. Oh, wait, there we go. That's nice and tight. Yep. Yeah. And yet, uh, okay, like legit drains. Yeah. Some nice and Yeah, and a lot of race. those style, a lot of those style houses, they're like, you know, the one right there. On the oh, you just pass it. Yeah, like that old school sort of. Uh, oh, what do they call them? Like uh, workers' flats. Mm, you know, they're, okay. they're double story, and they've got the nice little decor out in there. You know, the front doors right on the street, that sort of thing. Yeah, you'll find a lot of those sorts of things in places like Carlton as well. I'll take you for a little tour through that. Sweet. Yeah, it's just kind of like row home stuff. You get that in my county seat of uh, Pottsville. Oh, yeah? Which is just an old mining town. 
Where's Redding? There's Hamburg. There's Pottsville. Where's the brewery? It's not on 209. It's on Mahantonga Street. Old brick building. That's that's our only like two or three landmarks around here is, is the oldest functioning brewery in the Oh States. nice. Yeah, um, that's a look. But uh, you gotta back the semi truck. This I this 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 wide shot <laughs> off of the off the Google Maps makes this look like a wide street and it it doesn't. So you gotta drive your semi truck and then back it into these bays right here at a whole angle. Oh yeah, that's the way. <laughs> ah, piece of cake. Um, oh, fun fact about this: like during our prohibition in the 1920s, uh, when you weren't when beer was illegal, uh, <clears throat> across the street is this building right here, where they just started making ice cream during the pro during prohibition. And, uh, yeah, right, okay. Coincidentally, a lot of the stuff that you need to make malted milkshakes, you can also make beer with. So Yeah, well. Yeah. <laughs> there, there you go. And the whole brewery is built on the side of a hill. It, it goes right, the very back of the brewery is just almost down at ground level again. So, and on mm. the day it was repealed, the, the very day they uh, repealed it, uh, they sent a cartload full of beer <laughs> that day. Already done, nice. labeled. Uh, and like, how long does it take yeah, to brew nice. beer? You know, like maybe two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Now you're starting to make me wonder where the, um, where the Peter's ice cream factory is, is situated. I don't think we had full prohibition that, like, you know, that was sort of a thing but i don't think it lasted long i don't i need to check my history on that <laughs> uh peters as in like from family guy uh there's a look i'm not 100 sure 100 sure like as in peter the name yes peter's ice cream um as far as i know it's only one ice cream company that makes all the ice cream for all the like major brands but they just give them different labels so oh okay <laughs> but don't quote me on that i have to look that one up interesting um huh. hmm. you might need to hmm. i can see i can see you trying to look it up on the screen now but i'm not sure you're going to find it um uh Go to wiki. Yeah. One thing I do know in re in relation to uh, things that are made out of ingredients that beer is made out of mm -hmm. is uh, you want to know one thing that Australians really love that uses a, a a byproduct of beer. I think I have a jar of it in my fridge. Oh yeah. Yeah. A certain a certain black paste in a yellow labeled jar. Yep. That uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the crazy thing about it is, if you eat enough of it, you'll start to like it. Yeah, but a lot of a lot of people don't know how to enjoy it at first. You've got to teach them. No, you've got to have a tiny amount of it mm -hmm. on a piece of a piece of white toast. Mm -hmm. The better the bread, you know. Get, use the good stuff if you can get it, and you know. A, a decent helping of butter, actual okay. butter, not margarine. Thank right. you very much. Yeah. And that, my friends, is how you enjoy Vegemite properly. I think what I was doing was I would get a little bit of it on a spoon and then get a spoonful of rice where I'm just like consuming calories as I pass through the kitchen. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There are people that use... Vegemite as like in the same way that they would use seasoning or stock, they would actually mix it into their cooking and it yeah. provides a bit of an umami taste. Yeah. I can do so, that. Yeah. I'll, ha I'll have to have a, I'll have to have a slice your way though with a uh, butter and stuff along with. Like, yeah. No, I'll, I'll, I'll be making you Vegemite in the morning. 
yeah. I'll I'll bring the happy little Vegemite out of you. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Mm. Well, this was a good stream. I do need to uh, get ready to go to bed and get ready for the drive tomorrow. So thank you to everybody for hanging out in the stream with us. Uh, thank you to everybody who uh, donated on Super Chat. You're uh, helping RCR stay afloat. Thank you to Matto for joining us last minute. Thank you so much. No worries. And good, good to chat with you, bro. Yeah, anytime. Let's do this again. Totally. All right. Have a good night, everybody.